Hello everyone, and welcome to Hollow Knight. Uh, as you can see, I've played this game for quite a little bit. Um, I haven't 112 percent the game, but I wanted to start a new file. Um, <clears throat> I'll just play on Classic. I don't, I don't feel up for the challenge of Steel Soul quite yet. <sighs> In the wilds, I speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls to. Yet you challenge, yet you the challenge met. The, under palace watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oops, I didn't want to skip it. Well, maybe I did, I don't know. I honestly don't remember the opening bit. But look at this. Like, I... I have beaten the game. I've uh, got every ending except the Pantheon of Hallow Nest ending because that is f fucked. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, yep, I've beaten the Radiance. I've done all of those kind of things, but I wanted to start a new file just so that I could, uh, well, one, play this game through again because I love it. I love this game. Uh, and I also wanted to, um, get an ending that I missed. So, uh, I don't know how many people who are watching this have played Hollow Knight. Um, but there are four endings in the game, I think. Oh, look at that. Like, this art style is so good. Can you believe that this was made by three people? Like, two people actually doing the art and programming and stuff, and one guy doing the music. It's fucking incredible how good this game is. Um, now, I'm going to have to get used to a couple of things, because I don't have any abilities that I'm used to in this game. Uh, you know, like the wall climb or the double jump, or even like my, my nail damage is very low at the start of the game. So it'll be interesting. And there you go. I already tried to wall climb and I can't. Uh, I don't need to read that. Oh, I'm used to killing those things in one hit. Oh, there's a secret. Just some more geo up here, but it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, Stalactite, for hitting me in the noggin. Um, but yeah, like, I love this game. This game is fucking incredible. Like, the controls are so tight. Like, there was someone that I was talking to was like, oh, the, the combat in this game is so simple. And it's just like, have you played Dark Souls Combat? Because it's basically just the platformer version of that. It's literally just... Ah, oh, avoid attacks when when bosses come and and hit you, and then like hit when you have an opening. Like that's that's literally Dark Souls combat. And this guy was just complaining about it. But whatever, it's it's not a huge deal. Um, oops. Pay attention to spikes. Tried to wall jump again. Teaching you some basic mechanics in this first little bit, which is nice. Um, you know, it's it's nothing particularly. Like this intro bit isn't very interesting. Um, the movement at the start is really slow, but I think that's deliberate because it really allows you to really appreciate when the movement opens up. Um, like, once you get the wall climb and the dash, pretty much, it's fucking incredible how good this game is. Um, let me just... Okay, I have to talk to you first. Ho oh, there, traveller. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other, the other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. 
used to be a great king. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet still, it, yet it still draws. Fuck, I can't read today. Yet it still draws folks into it, into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too see your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. And now I can sit at the bench. <laughs> and then it's just like feeling tired. Ah, oh, okay. Many used to come hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hello Nest it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. And then he's just like feeling tired, blah blah. So you get a nice little backstory of Hallow Nest out of that dialogue, which is um, good. Um, it's nothing particularly interesting. Or like the lore of this game is very interesting. Um, it's it's pre it's presented in a very kind of Soulsian way. Um, in that uh, there isn't much for you at first. You have to kind of glean what little there is and then interpret it. Um, which is honestly the storytelling that I like the most. Um, but I think if, if you've watched this channel for any extended period of time, you already know that. Um, I, I like very much when games don't shove story in my face um, and just allow the gameplay to speak for it. Here's Cornfer. Hmm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and working on and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? And then all he wants is 30. And so I will have a map. Choco, this. Kerek this. I really like the, the kind of gibberish that they uh, that they speak in Hollow Nest. It's it's really charming. Because it's, it's not like, you know, Banjo-Kazooie, where they go to you, They actually, like, say things. Of course the things are gibberish, but like... There's the illusion of language in there, which is a nice touch, I think. Um... um can't get that until I have the dash, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, I've done everything in this game pretty much, except uh, the three hardest things. So, the Trial of the Master, or, uh, sorry, uh, Trial of the Fool, and um, uh, Pantheon of the Sage. Yeah, so you need your dash so that you can get out there. Um, <clears throat> So, something that I I realized playing this game quite a bit, like you saw in my in my save file, I have 90 hours in my first save. Uh, <coughs> your nail arc will actually go through uh, a lot of platforms, and so if there's a dangerous enemy above you on a platform and you can't get off for some reason then literally what you can do is just fucking ow oh shit alright and here's the other mechanic of the game which is soul um which is a very nice mechanic that Almost has a Bloodborne feel to it, if you think about it, because... Um... It encourages actually attacking enemies when you're low on health. Uh, because that's the only way you can heal. Um... 
so if you are very low on health then it's then it's definitely worth your while still attacking because you can't really back off and heal you need to wait for your opportunities before you can actually fight back um, so let's go up this yep so there's a grub in here <coughs> and a, uh, he's deceptively easy ouch ouch unless I'm stupid Ugh. <sighs> I keep forgetting I'm very slow at the start of the game. Um, that's okay, I can get him. He's honestly not that difficult. No, I need to go back to get my shade anyway. So let's go get that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the start of this game is, uh, not quite as fast as maybe I would like. Um, like if you already started with the dash or something like that, then that would be really good. But, um, it just makes the, the, uh, movement in this game that much of more of a reward. Uh, because you actually have to like fight for it and do a lot of really difficult shit to be able to get it. Um, I'm just saying it would be nice if it was faster. Alright. So let's get that and then get this guy. Oof, fuck. There we go. Found my rhythm again. Alright, let's back off. Let him come to us. There we go. There we go. <coughs> and now I've saved the grub. Um. There are many, 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 many grubs in this game. I think there are 46. Um, <clears throat> some of them are much more difficult to find than others. Um, uh, I think down here is the mine and one of my favorite NPCs. Uh, <clears throat> there's not much else to do. I just want to talk to her. I think her name is Layla. Myla. That's it. I, I really like her voice acting. I think it's really good. And she has a stutter, which is also pretty cute. <coughs> There's a... Uh, you don't really get anything for the, the crystals that you break. Not even like soul or anything. Um, but that does make sense because the crystals have an energy that is not soul. Uh, it's just, uh, and I have a theory that that's how the tram in this game works, is through the crystal energy. Because it doesn't really have any, like, uh, oh fuck. That's right, I remember. <clears throat> Oops. I'm used to playing on handheld, so playing on my TV with the washed out colors. It's very similar to uh, the messenger's problems in that way. Come on. There you go. Um, it's very similar to the messenger's problems in that way. Is that If you have a shitty TV then you're gonna have a bad time playing this game because you can't fucking see anything. Um, but honestly it's, it's not a huge deal. Like, this game has a lot more contrasting colors in it than, uh, uh, what's it called? The Messenger does. 
Um. <clears throat> so honestly, I don't have to worry about the color palette too much. What the fuck? Ah. Oh. Did you guys see that, or am I crazy? I thought I thought there was a an enemy over there, but there wasn't. Anyway, um. Yep. Yeah, so I have to go this way. Um, because I have to go down and around to unlock that shortcut. One of the very few times that that uh, that the platform has actually prevented me from hitting through it. Uh, but it's it's honestly not a huge deal because I did it anyway. Okay, so let's go down. Um, and past corner for now. Uh, I believe there's a secret on this side, but uh, but if you hit your head, then you can't get there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Now what's this again? Oh yeah, this isn't really a secret, it's more just a place. Uh, but I believe there's a mask shard in here. I don't remember if you need the dash to be able to do it. Oh, you might need the wall climb to be able to do it. Those enemies are really gross. Um, because they poop out babies for. That's right. Just a an early grub. Whoops! I went to wall climb. You see how easy it is for just your brain to forget that you're playing a an earlier version of the game. Like, this, that's what I appreciate, especially about games like, like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, is that you have all your abilities from the start. And so, uh, what enables you to go faster in games like that is literally just memorization of where you're going. Um, so now I need to go this way. Is a yep. A lot of geo deposits up here. Uh, okay. It's taking a while to break, but that's fine. All right, now let's break this one. Now there should be a. Uh, there's not too much to here down here, but... And now I'm stuck! It's one of the few, like, enemy rooms, like, straight out of Zelda. That you're gonna see in this game. And I think this was where I realized that you can just attack through platforms. Because you can just do this. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, so there's a hot spring up the top, uh, which fills all of your soul uh, and any masks that you have missing, which is nice. There's a bench up here too. Now I believe that in the next area is uh, the ancient mound, or the ancestral mound, rather. Oh, not quite yet. Um, <clears throat> but the ancestral mound is good because that is the first spell of the game, 
And yep, I can't get up there to the mask shard yet because I don't have the meth's claw. I can get in here though. So let me do a quick hop. And out we go. Nice and easy. Um. Whoops. Uh, somewhere around here you rescue Zart as well. Um. Uh, and Zart is quite an interesting character. He is totally useless. Um. But the way he interacts with other characters is pretty interesting. So now let's drop. Uh, and I'm not stuck. Excellent. <laughs> um, concentrating. Huh. Okay, and I don't have a wall climb, so I have to go this way. <coughs> so now I go up this way. And this takes me to the other side of those doors that I saw before. So here, there is a secret grub uh, behind a breakable wall. And he is right here. He's very happy that I came to save him. Um, ugh, fuck. And I heard him too. I just didn't realize he was that close. Cool. And now that shortcut's unlocked, and now I can keep going. Um, so over here is an important area but I don't quite want to go there yet because I want to go to the ancestral mound first. There's a, a trick that you're going to need to really know how to do in this game. It's called pogoing. Or at least I call it pogoing. Um, it's very timing based because you have to use the swing of your sword to propel you into the air. Um, it's quite an interesting mechanic, I, I think. So here is our first tollway. Oh, well, not our tollway, but the stag station. Um, it doesn't cost very much, which is good. <coughs> okay. Oh, I should have been reading that, but, um... The stag is the last stag uh, to exist in Hallow Nest, or at least so we think. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a couple of things that. Um, well, the stag station only has one purpose: it's to fast travel you to places, but it also unlocks a certain place um, if you. Uh, have uh, every other station if you have every other station then it unlocks the secret one um so what I want immediately is the wayward compass um because sometimes I will get lost <laughs> that's just a it's just a fact of this game honestly so put the wayward compass on and now if I look at my map then I can see where I'm going which is a nice little bonus um, I'm not gonna go over to the right side until I have uh, the simple key to unlock Gigi um, 
Just because it's not really worth the time. Wow. I'm doing fucking horribly all of a sudden. Ugh. Um. So. Um. I'm deciding right now whether to fight False Knight first or Gru's mother first. Um. I think I might do Gru's mother just because I want to unlock Salubra first. Um. Because I'm pretty sure she gives you a free charm notch. Um, which is very helpful. Um, when I get to, because I want to do, I want to do a hundred percent of everything. Um, so let me just quickly make my way to where I need to go. Um, <clears throat> so I want to do 100%. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. <laughs> just because, like, I've, I've literally tried uh, God Home and the Pantheons in God Home and I've done two of them. I think I've done two. Uh, not here. Um, yeah, I've done two of them. Let's rest at the bench here. Um, and honestly, the first one took me longer than the second one. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just because um, I have trouble with bosses, like multiple bosses at once. Um, and so, Shio and... Fuck, what's his name? No, wait, I think Paintmaster is Shio. Um, but anyway, the... The upshot of what I'm saying is... Uh, it's, it's much harder for me to keep track of both bosses at once than it is for me to just watch one boss and... Uh, learn the patterns that way. Um, <clears throat> that's why Watcher Knights is... Like, it's already notoriously hard, but I just find it excessively difficult. It's really fucking hard. Um, the only way that I know how to do it is literally just to, like, bull rush the, uh, the first one. Uh, make sure he dies as quickly as possible. Yep, so here is Gru's mother. Um, I believe there's a shortcut up here that I want to get first. Um... So let's go up here. Ah, oh, wait, no. No, no, no. I don't need to do that. So let's go kill Guru's mother. Um. Because basically she's free Geo. She's really easy. Ow. Now she's dead, and all I have to do is kill, like, eight bruises, I think. Come on. Can you pop, please? Yeah, there we go. And now I kill her children. Which is really dumb and boring, but... Um, so there's a couple of things. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't get to Salubra until I have the dash. Interesting. I didn't remember that. Uh, but I can unlock Sly down here. Um, and Sly will sell me some very important things. So let's go talk to Sly. Sly is infected. Oro, you, oh, Oro, 
Oro is one of them. You wield your nail like a club. <laughs> Esme, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh. Wait, oh. who are you? I see this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I should, I should put an old man voice on. I see this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. And then he doesn't go anywhere, but like, he just kind of turns up in Dirtmouth. Um. Yep, so then we need to go back this way. Uh, so I do know that the Nail Master is sly. Spoilers, I guess. Um, but I haven't been able to fight him because I can't fucking get to him because, uh, the refight with Umu sucks. It's like, it's so bad. <laughs> like, I really wish that Quirrell was in that boss fight instead of those fucking jellyfish because those jellyfish suck so bad. Um... Okay, where do I need to go? Let me actually look at my map here. Okay, so I need to go up. Um, and I should buy the pen and ink so that I can actually make these maps look nice. Although I do like the, the kind of drawn aesthetic. Um, but that's literally like, just scratchings. That's not really, um, useful at all. Uh, okay. So that's probably going to be time. Um, so thank you very much for watching the first episode. It's definitely time. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.